coastal upwelling is a process by which wind moving parallel to the shore or offshore pushes warm, low nutrient surface water out to sea. That creates a low pressure area near the coast which then forces nutrient rich cold water to rise up from the deep to the coast. Today I will be demonstrating how coastal upwelling works and how wind blows warm surface water that is low in nutrients out to sea and creates that gap and then how cold nutrient rich water from the deep sea will come up and fill that gap and bring that nutrient rich water to the coast. So here I will simulate coastal upwelling and so I've got that nutrient rich water down in the bottom left and imagine that the coast is up in the top right and as the wind starts to blow that surface water out to sea it's going to create that low pressure area up in the top right where the coast would be and so now you can see the nutrient rich water starts to creep along the bottom and now it'll start to rise up to where the coast would be and bring that nutrient rich water up to the coast. Here is a time lapse which makes it a lot easier to visualize the water movement. Why is coastal upwelling important? Well when you get this nutrient rich water from deep in the sea, when it comes up into the sunlight you get lots of phytoplankton which are then eaten by zooplankton which are then eaten by fish and so you get this nutrients comes up to the coast and in the end you get lots of fish which is really important for people because we have fisheries and lots of people depend on them for their food and their jobs and often in these places with coastal upwelling you have really strong fisheries. With the areas with coastal upwelling being responsible for 50% of the world's fishing catch while only making up 1% of the earth's oceans. So where does upwelling occur? Well it happens all around the world but today let's focus on the west coast of the US and Mexico where we have really strong upwelling occurring. This is because of strong trade winds which you can see here are blowing water offshore and will cause that water to come up from the deep. Some key takeaways are they happen when wind blows surface water offshore which creates that low pressure gap. They're very important for people because we have fisheries and they happen globally. If you'd like to learn more there's a book you could read and thank you for watching.